그러기 때문에 여러분 이걸 믿는 사람은 And that is why everyone people who believe this 뭐라고 말합니까? What do they say? 하나님과 같이 말합니다. They say as God says. 하나님이 우리를 보고 의롭다고 하셨습니다. God sees us and calls us righteous. 여러분 로마서 3장 23절 이야기했죠. We talked about Romans chapter 3:23, right? 모든 사람이 죄를 범하였음에 하나님의 영광이 이르지 못하더니 For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. 24절에 뭐라고 합니다. But what does the same verse 24? 그리스도 예수 안에 있는 구속으로 말미암아 Through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. 하나님의 은혜로 By the grace of God. 값없이 freely 의롭다 하심을 얻은 자 되었느니라. Being justified. And God is calling us righteous. 하나님 우리를 보고 저, 정말 거룩하다고 하셨어. And God calls us holy. 우리가 거룩해요. What we holy? 말도 안 돼요. Oh nonsense. 우리 어떻게 거룩해요? How could we be holy? 난 더러워요. I'm dirty. 난 죄를 지었어. I committed sin. 난 마약을 했어. I did drugs. 나는 간음을 했어. I committed adultery. 난 악해요. I am evil. 우리 어떻게 의로워요? How could we be righteous? That is what many people say. But that's not what God says. 아니야. No. 넌 정말 의로워. You are so righteous. 넌 정말 거룩해. You are really holy. 이 속에 악이 하나도 없어. There's no evil in you at all. 누가 그렇게 했어요? Who did that? 예수님께서 그렇게 하셨습니다. That is what Jesus did. 그래서 여러분 예수님이 우리가 가진 모든 악을 가져가셨기 때문에 And because Jesus took all of our evil away 하나님 눈에 보실 때 예수님은 너무 더럽고 추하고 악했습니다. In the eyes of God Jesus was so evil, filthy and dirty. 예수님 우리의 악을 가져가시면서 As Jesus took our evil away 당신이 33년 동안 사신 그 룩함을 우리에게 주었어요. The 33 years of holiness that he lived he gave to us. 지금 여러분 하나님은 우리에게 여러분은 하나님이 우리에게 준 예수님 우리에게 준그 거룩함을 볼 눈이 없어서. And now because we don't have the eyes to see the holiness, the cleanness that Jesus gave us. 그러나 여러분 하나님은 여러분을 볼 눈이 있습니다. You know, but God has the eyes. 하나님 여러분 볼때 너무 의롭고 거룩하다는 거죠. When God sees you, you're so holy and so righteous. 이해가 가십니까? Everyone, do you understand? 자 이제 우리는 오늘 저녁 그 이야기를 계속해서 하려고 합니다. And tonight, that is what we want to continue talking about. 우리는 지금까지 무슨 이야기를 했냐면은. Until now, what have we talked about? 오늘 오전 우리가 그 이스라엘 백성 하나님 원망하다가 만 사천 칠백 명이 죽임을 당했어요. And this morning, as those Israelites complained against God, fourteen thousand seven hundred people were killed. 오늘 오전 우리는 이야기하기를. This morning we talked about. 이스라엘 백성 하나님 원망하다 만 사천 칠백 명이 죽었습니다. As the people of Israel complained against God, fourteen thousand seven hundred were killed. 그러나 정확하게 이야기하면. But precisely put. 그들이 하나님 원망해서 죽은 게 아니라. They didn't die because they complained. 물론 원망을 했지만. Sure, they did complain. 그들이 죽기는 율법 아래 있기 때문이었어요. But they died because they were under the law. 자 이제 율법 아래 있는 사람들은 Now people who are under the law 어떤 사람 사, 사람들이냐면 What kind of people are they? 자기가 행한 모든 걸 하나님 앞에 심판을 받아야 합니다. And they have to bring forth what they have done and with that they have to be judged. 여러분 은혜 아래 은혜 안에 있는 분은 전혀 다릅니다. But the people under grace are completely different. 여러분 은혜 아래 있는 사람들은 자기가 정말 저주를 받아야 할걸 예수님이 은혜로 대신해 주신 그걸 받으린 걸 말하는 거예요. And people who are under grace it is talking about Jesus taking the place of the judgment that they should receive. 여러분 저는 그 레오나르 다빈치가 이 이야기 참 이렇게 감명 있게 들은 이야기가 있습니다. Oh, there are these words of Leonardo da Vinci that have really touched my heart. 레오나르 다빈치 어느 날 자기 집 앞에 큰 바위 산을 쳐다봐. Uh, Leonardo da Vinci one day saw a big rock before his home. 그 바위 산을 그의 하루종일 바위 산을 쳐다봐. In this hill of a rock, he just looked upon it all day long. 자기 집 앞에 산에 큰 바위 있는데 그 바위를 And so in front of his house was a big hill of a rock, and he just looked at it. 하루 종일 그 바위를 보고 있어. And he looked at that rock all day long. 정신없이 바위를 쳐다보고. And he just mindlessly looked at that rock. 며칠 동안을 그렇게 했어. And he did that for days. 어느 날 그는 다빈치는 큰 사다리와 가지고 나왔어. And one day, Da Vinci brought out a big ladder with him. 그 사다리를 바위 위에 올려놨어. And he laid that ladder upon the rock. 그리고 망치하고 정을 가지고 사다리 위에 올라갔어. And took a pick and a, a hammer with him and climbed up the ladder. 그리고 이제 바위를 깨뜨리기 시작했어. And began to crack the rock. 바 망치가 정을 때릴 때마다 쩌렁 쩌렁 산에 울리면서 바위들이 깨어져 쏟아져. And every time he would take a swing at the rock, it would crack through the rock and echo throughout. 땀을 뻘뻘 흘리면서 하루 종일 바위를 깨. 
and he sweat and he cracked away at the rock all day long. 그 and at night it was sunset so he went back home. 그 and when the sun uh, rose the next morning he went to crack the rock again. And when it became dark he came back home. 이제 이제 하고, he did that for one week, for ten days, for a month. 오늘도 다미제 열심히 바위를 깨뜨리고 있었는데. And one day, once again, he was at the rock chipping away. 지나던 친구가 얘기했습니다. A friend passing by said, "Hey, 다빈치, 너 지금 뭐 하고 있는 거야?" Hey, Da Vinci, what are you doing right now? 다빈치가 땀을 닦으며 얘기했습니다. Da Vinci wiped his sweat and he answered, "나를 보고 뭘 하고 있느냐고?" Did you ask me what am I doing? 아니 보면 몰라. Can't you tell? And Da Vinci answered, You can't see this right now with your eyes? There is an angel locked in this rock. How difficult and painful it must be for the angel locked inside of this rock. And I think the angel would be suffering so much. And so I want to quickly free this angel Angel, that's why I'm chipping away at the rock. This beautiful angel is locked within this rock. The friend couldn't understand. What angel? And then that's what the friend said, and then he left. But not so in the eyes of Da Vinci. It seemed as though there was an angel locked inside of that rock. Oh, the angel feel, must feel so stuffy inside. I better chip the rocks away and free that angel. He chipped away for a month, for two months, and for six months, and chipped away for a year. And through that, the image of the angel began to show a little by little in that rock. Later on, you couldn't see the rock anymore, but the beautiful image of an angel with its wings spread out. When normal people see that rock, they see it only as a rock. But in the eyes of Da Vinci, it was not a rock, it was an angel. And it just seemed that the angel was locked within the rock. And Da Vinci clearly saw the image of the angel locked within the rock. And so he took the pick and the hammer and chipped away the rock that was not the angel. So later on, only the angel remained. Everyone in the same way, the I, just as the eyes that we look through and the eyes Da Vinci sees through are different, in our eyes, it's only a rock. There's no angel there. Oh, that's nonsense. It's only a rock. There is no angel there. But not so in the eyes of Da Vinci. No, there is an angel here. It's just that it's locked within the rock. How stuffy it must be there. I have to quickly free that angel. I have to rescue it from the rock. Somebody has covered the angel with the rock. Then how could the angel fly? How could we see the angel then? I have to quickly take him out of the rock. And without rest, he with the hammer, he chipped away at the rock. Each time the rock chipped away, the image of the angel began to appear. Everyone, the eyes that we see through and how it seems in the eyes of God are completely different. First of all, our eyes are different from God's. We put hope in the good that we've done. I committed many sins. But I have done this and that kind of good. And if I do some more good, I'll do well. I'll go to heaven. And you may do good. But what you must clearly know is no matter how much good you may do, 
the good that you've done cannot wash your sins away. You cannot exchange your good with sin. If you do much good, your good is just there. But your sin is just there as well. And that's why on your own, you cannot be freed from sin. 